Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be going through a workflow of Keyshot 6. My name is Richard Fennell, and first, we're going to give an overview of the user interface and workflow. Before we actually get into some of the details, let's talk a little bit about some of the resources you have available to you when you're working with Keyshot. Uh, if I just minimize this for now, you'll notice that usually when you install Keyshot on your desktop, you get a folder that says Keyshot 6 resources. So while we're working with Keyshot and we're saving any materials or textures or environments, or we've got renderings that we've created, uh, we can look within this directory to find all of our assets. So that's on the Windows side. Usually there's a shortcut on your desktop. It'll also be in the documents folder. For those of you that are on the Mac side, it's going to be located in a little bit different location. Uh, but what I've got here is the root uh, Mac HD directory. Uh, within that, you've got your library folder, application support, Keyshot 6, and then uh, within that directory is the same directory on the Windows side, but it's where your backplates go, renderings, anything like that. So just a quick note, you all, we always have uh, that folder that's going to be the default for all of your uh, resources within Keyshot. Uh, one really good thing to point out in there is also this folder called Scenes. So these are some sample files. Uh, we may revisit these later today. If not, uh, they're a great place for you to look at uh, some scenes that have been prepared, uh, including animations or advanced animations, diamonds, caustics, working with procedurals. We've got some examples in there that you may never have actually seen before. Um, so we'll actually come back to that in a second. Um, I'll come back over here to Keyshot 6 Pro. While we're working, I'm going to be using a lot of hotkeys. I'll make sure to call those out whenever I use them. If you ever need a reminder of what hotkeys are what while you're working in Keyshot, you can just hit the K key on your keyboard and that will pop up with a list of all the Keyshot hotkeys. So that's just hitting the K key and there you can see that's, a, that's an easy reminder of uh, what hotkeys are in Keyshot. Um, what I'll do to start off is I'll just hit the F key to put us into full screen mode. Uh, and I'll go ahead and close this welcome screen where you can see recently opened files and get some links to our forum and uh, the what's new guide. Um, but before we actually import a model, I wanted to talk about a few quick things as far as performance and user interface. So if I just close that up, you'll notice that in the top here in the ribbon, uh, we have this little drop down next to CPU usage. So Keyshot is a CPU based progressive render. So what that means is it uses as much of your processor, for example, an Intel i7 or a Xeon processor uh, to render the images you see on screen. What's really important is that you can determine how much of your processing power Keyshot's allowed to use. By default, it's gonna use 100%. If you've ever tried to use Keyshot and done anything else and something else has gotten slowed down because of Keyshot, what you could do is you can decrease the number of cores. So in this case, I can drop it down to 13 out of my available 15 cores for this machine. And uh, everything else is gonna run a little bit smoother because Keyshot's not trying to bog down all my resources. You can always pause Keyshot as well. Um, pausing Keyshot just stops the processing so that, you know, you don't get bogged down and then you can go and work on your email or 3D model or whatever else. Hotkey for pausing, which is really handy, is Shift P. I use that all the time. So I'll usually pause when I go to another application so it's not sitting there rendering. So quick note on performance, that's going to make a difference, the number of cores, uh, and then also the ability to pause it. Another thing that's going to make a difference on performance is going to be under the image tab. Uh, under the image tab, you have your resolution presets. So this is how big your real time view is. Think uh, like your canvas size. What you need to keep in mind here is the bigger that you make it, and I'll hit F and go back into full screen, the slower Keyshot's going to run. So if you're running Keyshot full screen on a 30 inch display and you're wondering why it's kind of slow, uh, well, you can always reduce the real time resolution. I'll keep that at 1024 by 768. That's big enough to see without uh, getting too slow. But yeah, that's going to have that's going to be one more thing that affects your real time view. And since I locked lock aspect and lock resolution, even when I get in and out of full screen mode, or if I drag the window to resize it, it's going to keep the same aspect ratio here. So two quick things on performance, knowing about the ribbon and then your real time view. Um, so when we're working in Keyshot, if you don't see these two main windows, library and project, make sure you open those up. 
On the left hand side, we have the Keyshot library. This is we find, where we find all of those assets that are inside the Keyshot 6 resources folder. So this is where we have our materials, uh, our colors, environments, textures, backplates, things like that. So all of these assets are going to be inside the library. The library is the same every time we open Keyshot. We can save materials or colors or environments to the library, but this is always going to be available to us while we're working. On the right hand side, we have our project window. So the project window is broken up into a few different tabs. A new tab for Keyshot 6 is the lighting tab. So that's uh, we lighting is now controlled there instead of under the settings so we'll get to those as well but this is where we make modifications to our existing scene so this is where we can go in and actually dial in some of these settings for this specific scene so library on the left project window on the right and we have the ribbon up top and our toolbar down at the bottom so that's what our user interface is going to look like in the next tutorial we'll talk about importing your models for more tutorials, quick tips, and webinar recordings, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can learn more at keyshot.com learning. Thank you for watching.